What's going on, my dreamers? This is your girl, Shalinda One, and welcome to the Beautiful Dreamers channel. Welcome back for another video. Hello to all our new dreamers. I welcome to the Beautiful Dreamers channel. I hope you find some type of inspiration. I hope you find help with your hair, beginner's makeup, whatever the case may be. I hope you find it here. So this video is a makeup tutorial, and we will be doing a uh, makeup tutorial. I was requested by so many of you guys. Shalanda, do something with the Naked palette. So I have it here. Here's the Naked palette. Um, I actually had one before, and I lost it, and I finally got a new one for Christmas. For Christmas. Okay, so I got a new one for Christmas, and um, so I did a look with it. This is one of my go-to looks. I love this look. I love orange on dark skin. I personally have always been drawn towards orange. So um, I did an orange look with the Naked palette. Um, I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. And I will be doing a review of the Naked palette following immediately after the tutorial. So if you're interested in the review, please stay tuned. And I'll see you at the end of the video. Bye. So let's get started. The first thing I did was use my Urban Decay Primer Potion as the primer and I put that all over my lid. Then I used my NYX Pencil and Milk as the base and I made sure I spread that out with the balls of my finger. And then I take it up on <clears throat> onto the lid a little bit in the crease of my eye just a little bit very lightly this is just gonna help keep all your eyeshadows together without that crease then I take whatever's left on my finger and place it underneath the eye then I go and I apply my bridge color this is a beautiful orange uh, like a coral color from Milani it's actually a uh, blush but I use it as a bridge just because I love the color this is a transition. I place it underneath the brow bone. So then I jump into my Naked palette. And the first color I use is Half Baked. I put that on the inner one third of the eye. And I use my large shader brush, one of my uh, Sonia Kushik brushes. Then I go into Smog as my second color and I put that directly in the middle. I make sure that I blend it in with the first color a little bit, but it's all in there all alone, right in the middle. If you look closer, you can see the difference. Then I go into dark cost, and I put that on the out, the last third of the eye, the outer V of the eye. I'll make sure all three colors are blended into each other to where it all flows and I go back into that same fluffy brush that I use for my bridge color and I'm just blending out any harsh lines that you clearly can see there I'm just blending it out I did not add any new product to the brush now I'm going into my favorite brown it's pretty sad but I love my wet and wound brush that brush um, brown that comes in the vanity palette and I use that just to warm up the outer V it's a beautiful brown that uh, works really well for my skin tone then I go back into that same blush that I use in my transition and I blend it out making sure that the orange stays vibrant and strong and use it to blend out any harsh lines Here I am going again. I'm going using another one of my Wet n Wild palettes. I'm using the black just to smoke out the outer V. Very lightly, not too strong, very lightly. I'm also dragging that onto the bottom lid very little. And then I'm going back into the same brush that I used for the brown and helping blend that out. Now I'm adding my brow bone highlight. I'm using Baked and Virgin into um, and applying that to my brow bone as my brow bone highlight. I'm going back into that fluffy brush, putting some more of that orange on there to blend all that out so I have a seamless look, a 
still want you to be able to see that orange. Now I'm going into sidecar and virgin. I'm putting that into the inner tear duct of my eye as a corner highlight. I'm also going to take that a little bit and put it on my bottom um, waterline, the inner third of the waterline. Then I'm taking one of my favorite liquid liners. I like it because it's not the darkest in the world, but it still helps to find my um, upper waterline, I mean my upper lash line. And I'm going to wing it out a very little bit. I'm not going to do a dramatic wing. I'm just going to wing it out very little bit. And that's it. Now I'm finishing my face, adding all that other good stuff. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's very simple, very easy. Um, it's a soft, smoky, orange, neutral eye. However, However, I feel like this look can be put together and used to go out to dinner parties, um, to the club, depending on how far you want to take it. Of course, this look can be extremely more dramatic, but I didn't need to be any more dramatic. I'm not really that dramatic person. I like makeup that I can actually wear. So, let's jump into the review. Palette. The infamous makeup naked palette that everyone seems to go crazy over. Um, you gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. So the naked, my naked palette, um, you all, you all know what it looks like. Um, I didn't get the eyeliner. Mine came with the brush. It came with the brush, and to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of the brush at all. Nah, like there's nothing about this brush that. No, so this, yeah. <laughs> so I guess you know how I feel about the brush but let's talk about some of the colors um, this is it we all know what it looks like so I'm not even gonna waste my time doing swatches and stuff because you guys already know what it looks like however um, some of my favorite colors are the ones that I use today which is half-baked I love that color that's one of my favorites um, smog I'm a big fan of smog um, and pretty much sidecar, the glittery colors. This um, uh, buck, I can get down with every once in a while. Um, it is like the same exact color as my skin tone, so it, it really is a good color for like your, um, your bridge of your eye, which is here if you just want a transitional color. That's a great one. So those are the pros that they, um, also I have to say the quality, the softness of them, are on point one more thing they're true to its pigment the way it looks here is the way it's going to look on your eye as well on with as well as when you swatch it i love that that's quality and not all eyeshadows especially if you're really into makeup you know quality is not necessarily something that you can always get your hands on so i love that the pigments are true to the color like what you get here is what you're going to get actually on your skin especially being a um, darker skin colors just don't look the same as though of course they will look on a lighter skin um you will put on a color but oh my god oh my goodness that color looks so beautiful on her it just pops but when it gets on you it doesn't have that same vibe and um i love that the colors in here are actually true to that so that's the pros. I love that. Um, I think that these are some colors that you can, if you don't want to pack them on, that you can just take a big fluffy brush, like my Sonya you, so you Cushion big fluffy brush. Just dip it and slightly, lightly go over it. it. Gives you a nice shimmer over your eye without being too, too um, impactful, which is great. These are the cons. I'm sorry, those were the pros, but this is the cons. I can't really do too much with this besides of course that we all know that this is pretty much neutral colors this is for a neutral eye something like that however what I don't like about it is that it doesn't provide enough matte colors 
these do not provide enough matte colors for me i am not a person that likes a full eye of shimmer i love a little bit of shimmer with a lot of matte to me that's just the makeup wearer that i am and this does not do that um even like their darker colors most people on that actually do makeup they like the eye or it's just to warm it up on the outer v smoke it out on the outer v and that's not done with a shimmer we all typically go for our carbons or our dark browns or a lot of the colors that i used in the tutorial because these have shimmer and a whole eye full of shimmer is really not the look that i would ever go for so unfortunately this palette will always have to be accompanied by other palettes and in my opinion this palette for the price that it is this sh should give me half um matte and half shimmer so then i can get the best of both worlds and this could truly be a complete palette this is not a complete palette for me so in my honest opinion i know I all we all don't agree on this but if you don't have this palette it's okay like don't don't feel like you're missing out because you're not i believe i'm i honestly feel that if you especially if you're a beginner if you get some of the white and wild palettes you can pretty much do do what it do baby i mean i'm just gonna be <laughs> i'm just gonna be honest especially because they provide both matte and the shimmer to help you have a complete look on the eye that's just my opinion however i love the pigment um the true pigments that that are here in this palette i love that whatever the color is is exactly the way it's going to come off i love that especially with me being a dark girl that right there is the same exact color as that paint so i like that i like that Whatever I see here, I'll get. I don't have to keep packing it on and packing it on. With one swipe, I'm able to capture the color that I'm looking for. However, this is not a complete palette in my opinion. Well, it's not a complete palette. It gives you one transitional color and a bunch of shimmer. And, um, I mean, if you wear a whole eye of shimmer, that's great. But typically, I do not use a whole eye of shimmer um this look though i like it is too much shimmer on my brow bone um now for me i like i like a little bit of shimmer that i would always use on my lid and the inner duct but all over i'm not a shimmer person so that's my review on the um naked palette if you do not have it if you do not have it i'm not going to necessarily recommend that you run out and get it if it's gifted to you, great, but you're going to enjoy it if it is gifted to you. But if you cannot afford it or you're just not one of those people that can just bust out that type of cash, I wouldn't necessarily say you're missing absolutely anything. So that's just my opinion um, about the Naked Palette. I definitely will do some more um, tutorials using the Naked Palette. And uh, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions concerns definitely put in the comment box and or private message me if you haven't done so already please rate comment and subscribe to join the beautiful dreamers world and as always guys find the closest mirror to you find and embrace the beautiful dreamer in you and in everything you do please recognize god and his power as the final and ultimate authority over your life i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye